Welcome to the AP Drawing Portfolio. I'm Colleen Harrigan, and I teach AP Art and Design at Clarkstown South High School in West Nyack, New York. I'm also a consultant, a question leader at the reading, and a former development committee member. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're gonna discuss choosing your selected works. In this video presentation, you will learn more about the selected work section of the AP Art and Design Portfolio and approaches for organizing and choosing your best work. We will look at student examples of selected works as well as the work of artists who present their work for interpretation. At the end of the lesson, you will have gained strategies to choose your selected works, understand the updated requirements, navigate the submission platform, and know the details for the portfolio submission. Okay. So we'll do a little warm up first. For the warm up, you need paper and something to write with. And we're going to get started. Okay. You might be familiar with this painting, but if not, it's the figure five by Charles Demuth. Five is a, is a significant number, right? It's the goal. It's what you want to earn on your AP portfolio exam. Anyway, with that thought in mind, what I'd like you to do is make a quick list. So on your paper, a uh, number from one to five, and make a list of the works that you're considering to submit for your selected work section of your portfolio. Okay, now that you've thought it, about it for a bit, uh, we're going to put that list just to the side and as we move through the lesson, we're gonna refer back to it. Thanks. What you need to know. The selected work section. This section of the AP Art and Design portfolio exams offers students the opportunity to make and present works of art and design with minimal constraints. Each work is expected to demonstrate skillful synthesis of materials, processes, and ideas. Students should carefully select works that demonstrate, that best demonstrate their skillful synthesis of materials, processes, and ideas. The submission can be a group of related works unrelated works or a combination of related and unrelated works. These works may also be submitted in the sustained investigation section, but they don't have to be. Along with each work, students are required to submit written responses to prompts about the work. Responses are evaluated along with the images that students submit. The most successful responses in terms of assessment are those that are clearly related to the images of work submitted, that directly and completely address the prompts, and that provide further evidence of skillful synthesis of materials, processes, and ideas shown in the work. Responses are not evaluated for correct spelling, grammar, or punctuation. There is no preferred or unacceptable material, process, idea, style, or content. Students should be the principal artist or designer of the work they submit. If work involved collaboration, the student submitted, submitting the work needs to have made all key decisions about materials, processes, and ideas used, and needs to have performed the activities that produce the work. Consider this one when thinking about your selected works. Selected works is your gallery show. The sustained investigation is more like a studio visit. Okay, in this particular presentation, we're addressing course skills 2C, 2D, uh, making through practice experimentation and revision. 
and 3C and 3F, communication and reflection. Core skill two, two, make works of art and design that demonstrate synthesis of materials, processes, and ideas. That's 2C. And 2D, make works of art and design that demonstrate 2D, 3D, or drawing skills. 3C, identify in writing materials, processes, and ideas used to make works of art and design. And 3F, present works of art and design for viewer interpretation. And here's another way to look at your selected work skills. Remember, the selected work section is 40% of your portfolio grade. If you look at this chart, you'll see the skills are on the left, which I just read out. The portfolio requirement is in the middle, where you select three works that best demonstrate those skills. And then the scoring criteria is on the right. So if we're asking you to demonstrate those skills, it's part of the requirement, and then we will assess that. And then course skill 3F, which is present works for art and design for viewer interpretation. By now, you've probably heard of the exam changes from your teacher, coordinator, or through the media. If not, I'm here to help explain those. Important details regarding the selected works. The requirement now is for students to submit three works instead of five. Three is your number. Remember when we started and I had you make a list of five? Well, now three is your number. The three submissions should be finished works of art that demonstrate the synthesis of materials, processes, and ideas. The works may come from the sustained investigation or they may be works made outside of the sustained investigation. The size of the selected works artwork remains the same as the directions 18 by 24 as previously required. The student, the selected works may be submitted or will be submitted and scored digitally. Students will not mail physical artworks. Okay, that's very, very important. Nothing will get mailed. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the submission platform. Okay, when you sign on, you see the, your introduction here, number one. Sustained investigation is number two. That's where you'll put your sustained investigation work. And number three is selected works, All right? That's important, right? Now, now our number is three, so three is your selected works. There's going to be another video lesson that gives the more specific information about submitting your works, but I can give you a few, highlight a few um, aspects of this particular page. Uh, you can see here, it's very, very important. Anything that's starred is required information. Um, and then you will upload a file as you would do uh, in your sustained investigation and your image will come in and you'll put in the information, the height and the width. And here's where your 100 character max writing goes, ideas, materials, processes. All right. Sometimes if you have trouble uploading a file, it might mean that it's too large and you'll have to resize it using a specific app. Uh, sometimes it'll come in sideways or upside down and then you would want to check the file name or the extension. But everyone is going to have to check this box right here. Um, it says, I understand that my selected works, including the printed written evidence from this page, must be shipped to the AP program. Well, that's not going to happen anymore, but you have to check this box in order for your submission to be complete because this is no longer a digital backup. You cannot leave anything blank of the required material. And then remember, you only need to submit three of five here. You can see 
that the fourth has a blank slide and the fifth has a blank slide. Okay. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. So that's just a little bit about the submission platform. And look for a, for a future video lesson to give you all the details you need to know. Here's some general reminders about materials for selected works. Students can use the materials they have at home to demonstrate investigation, artistic discovery, and the relationship between materials and processes. Students may be inventive and creative in ways to investigate their ideas using simple or unusual materials found in their homes. All materials are respected equally by the scoring process. There's not one that's better than another, and that's always the way it's been. So don't think about what you can't do right now. Think about the possibilities of what you could do. Here's some guided practice. Moving forward, a plan for action using core skills 2C, 2D, and 3C. Think about what you need to do in order to create, revise, or complete your work and ask for help if you need it. Continue making and photographing work. There's still time. You wanna have choices. Review the student examples on the AP Art and Design drawing page for selected works. And we're gonna go take a quick stop there. So on that page, there's a link to selected works, 2020 scoring commentaries. And there's seven portfolios that you can review and see how students um, wrote about their works. And then there'll be some scoring commentary with each of the portfolios that explains why it received the score it did using the language of the rubric. So this is a really good place to get some more information. Um, but remember, these examples have five works. You are only required to submit three. Okay, here's another. So, and then the commentary follows. So take a look if you need to. Look over that top five list that we made at the start of this lesson. Those were things that you were thinking were your best works. Now, do those, fit, do those works fit the requirements? Think about that. And here's an example of a student who took those five works from the list and then found thumbnails and put them on a slide for others to look at and consider and decide. So you wanna have choices and you wanna pick the ones that best reflect your work in relationship to the assessment and the rubric. So from there, the student would have a critique with their teacher or with other classmates to determine the three most successful works. They are the best of the best. That's your gallery show. And here's the rubric. So always go back to the rubric and look at your work in terms of the scoring guidelines. Further in the plan, format your images to, make, to meet the AP requirements. And there, uh, we'll provide you with a link for those technical requirements. Upload your selected works to the digital submission site. That's where we just were. You may edit your work before the submission date. Before you send it to your teacher, you can edit it. You can change it if you need to. Do you remember your password? Make sure you have that available. And don't wait for the last minute. 
don't forget to hit save. Save after every action that you make. Any unique aspects of the work should be noted and explained through visual and written documentation. Here's an example. Here's a drawing that has another layer beneath it. So with the writing that uh, you'll be able to do, you can explain that. So here's a screenshot of where we just were in selected works. If you leave anything blank, you will not be able to submit your work to your teacher. Here's something else that you might um, want to know. The submission does not allow for uh, specific symbols. So please do not use these symbols when you're writing about your artwork or putting in information because you will get an error message. The readers will be trained to overlook grammar and read the student statements for content only. Remember your grammar and spelling are not um, counted, <laughs> not part of the assessment, we should say. For the written component, you have ideas, materials, and processes. 100 characters is the maximum, including spaces. And here's a sample. And you can see as you type, You'll, the number will pop up. Um, don't feel that you have to use all 100 in order to explain your work. If you need help with your written evidence, look at your images or take a video of your work and refer to the rubric. Sometimes it's helpful to look at it that way. Write or speak about each piece using the ideas, materials, and processes prompts. Share out and ask for feedback to help with your writing. Finalize your portfolio in the AP Digital Submission and forward it to your teacher before the deadline, which is May 26, 2020 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. In selected works, check, select the checkbox that you're going to submit your work before you forward your portfolio. And this is from the submission, so make sure you check the box. And don't forget to save your work. Consult your teacher, your test coordinator, or the AP student page if you need even more advice. Everyone's here to help you do the best that you can. So consider this when thinking about Selected Works. Selected Works is your gallery show. It's the best work that you have, the best of the best. Your sustained investigation is more like a studio visit where you see a number of things in a number of different stages. And now for Course Skill 3F, present works for of art and design for viewer interpretation. How are selected works presented online or in, or in galleries? If you want to get some more information about how artists present their works, um, you can go online and look at examples. So as you've thought about your three best works for your own personal selected works, let's take a look at some artists that are doing that today. Carrie James Marshall is an example. And um, on the right, you see some images of his work in a gallery show. So those are his selected works. Maya Lin is another artist. And she recently had a show uh, called A River is a Drawing. And you can see these are uh, images from a presentation of her uh, organizing and planning her selected works in a gallery show. So in summary, choosing your selected works. After this video lesson, you learn more about the selected works section of the AP Art and Design Drawing Portfolio uh, and approaches for organizing and choosing your best work. 
We looked at student examples of selected works as well as the work of artists who present their work for art, of art for interpretation. Strategies were discussed to choose your selected works, be able to understand the updated requirements, navigate the submission platform, and know where to look for information and understand the details of the portfolio submission. Good luck to you. We know that not all students have access to the internet or a device. We're working on solutions to help students get what they need to show their best work. If you need mobile tools or connectivity or know someone who does, you can reach us directly to let us know at cb.org slash tech. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you all the luck in the world.